During 2019, we lost five domiciliary care providers. Last winter, we had significant challenges getting people out of hospitals. There is something in the work that community catalysts do, which I describe as a disruptor in a very constructive sense. It's taken off really well. And I think uh, a lot of that, the majority of that is due to how Heather works, uh, how she's able to make connections, uh, sell the idea. Uh, she's also made quite an impact with our social work teams. There's a lot of appreciation about how a micro enterprise can uh, support people where traditional domiciliary care agencies will and do struggle. We do have a very large number of people on direct payment, which obviously really plays into the hand of working with community catalysts, uh, providing potential work for micro enterprises. Some of the work uh, that we do, and very much um, what Heather does, is actually challenging us in the local authority about how we do business. Um, that is processes, that is challenging traditional ways of working, for example, with mostly seeing direct payment as a route to a PA, whereas uh, traditionally direct payments were not just about PAs, they were about lots and lots of different ways of enabling people to make choices about how to lead their lives. We have a phrase in POES, which is the POES pound. It's about keeping money in the locality. For example, with micro enterprises, quite clearly, the money that changes hands to pay micro enterprises stays POES. We're not seeking to replace uh, our traditional uh, providers, but it is uh, adding choice, not just to people who receive care and support, but also for local people who seek different ways of employment.